Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. This is episode number six. We're going to be building a model railroad display so you can put your trains out. I was at a garage sale a while back and I came across, underneath a pile of junk, these two wonderful little train sets. I don't know how long ago they're from, but they're, they were around many years ago. And one is this nice little steam set with cars, and the other one is a nice little diesel engine with cars. They're such nice little trains that I wanted to make a display so I could hang around and look at them. So I went out to my garage and found some bits and pieces of old wasted styrofoam that was left over from who knows what. Then I started stacking them together, kind of getting a little bit of an idea. I put some track together, just kind of having it run around. And of course, you have to draw the line where the track's going to go. After that, I thought, well, why not have a little tunnel? What's fun about this styrofoam is if you don't like it, who cares? You just glue another piece on or cut another hole. Now, talking about glue, the way that I find keeps this styrofoam together best is with a hot glue gun on the low setting. If you put glue on your styrofoam and it starts to melt, it's too hot. At this point, I realized, well, maybe I want a little bit more to the hillside. So I dug around, got some more wasted pieces of styrofoam, and glued them on. Now, of course, if you're going to have a display, why not have a bridge? This bridge took me about 20 minutes to build, just kind of a nondescript bridge, so the track has something to go over. And, of course, if you're going to have a bridge, you got to have a gully. Chop, 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 chop. Don't be afraid of cutting the styrofoam, because if it's wrong, well, you can just glue a piece back on or cut some more off. Now, what did take a little bit of time is fitting the bridge into the hole. For this step, make sure to take your time. Make sure it fits the first time before you glue anything on. When you start working with this foam insulation, it's really easy to work with, but you will need a few tools. A knife or two, a rasp, a little saw, stuff like that. It's really easy to shape like what you want. I like to use a product called Durham's Water Putty to have a hard layer over the outside of the foam. It works really good. Now to get the scenic detail to stick, I use Elmer's white glue, slop some glue on, put what you want on, and of course you got to have the riverbed done before you put the track in. And speaking of track, I like to lay my track and the ballast at the same time. You just lay some white glue in line, put your track in place and then put the ballast right on top of it. The hardest part is making sure that it's all flat and solid and waiting long enough for the glue to go off. Then of course once the glue does dry you just suck up the excess ballast and you put it back in the container for later. And I keep this vacuum cleaner just for scenic details, nothing else. Now as far as its scenic detail goes, I have a product that I like to call Slop. It's the leftover stuff from other projects all thrown together, so each time you use it, it's a little bit different. You take your white glue, you slop it all over the place, a liberal covering, and then you just put this scenic detail all over everywhere. Of course, once the glue sets up, what do you do? You suck it all up again and put it back in the slop drawer. Works really well. It's very inconsistent, which is the way I like it. Now comes the fur fun part, at least my personal favorite, adding all the extra details. I went through my treasure chest, mostly junk, but a few jewels, found whatever tidbits of leftover scenic stuff I had and starting to put it here and there. And then before you know it, you have a finished display. This is perfect to show off your favorite trains. Give it a try. It's easy, fast, simple, and my personal favorite, cheap. I love to make these things. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed episode number six of Murphy's Welcome in My World, building a display case for your trains. Have fun with your trains. Come back and see us anytime. Bye now, guys.